Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pair of chain makers tongs. So these tongs that I'm going to be using today, or that I'll be making today, is to take and hold chain, or more importantly, lengths of chain. So I've already added to one end, I've already drawn out the reins of my handles as I normally do. I'll put a link right here that you can go to if you want to watch how to actually do this, make this end of it. I won't go over this, I've went over it several times in the past um, of how to draw out the reins and measure stuff and lay out things. Uh, basically the only measurement that is necessary for this style tongs is a two inch, two inch or 50 mil dot for the nibs, for the nib set down. So once again, I'll put a link right here and a card that you can go and watch this. If you're just beginning trying to make your own tongs, you can go check it out there. I have a whole list, a playlist section on how to make tongs. So definitely go check that out and uh, follow along there. So just like in other videos, it's just gonna start with a set down. We'll set down the material and draw it out to the length of here. And then we will go ahead and knock these up into uh, chain maker's tongs. Real quick why those are heating up. These are essentially the same thing that you may think as chain makers tongs or rivet tongs. Uh, you know, so the jaws are essentially going to be shaped exactly the same. Though there will be one critical difference after we get these jaws shaped. We are going to take and bend these at a right angle to the length of the reins here. And what that will allow us to do is not only will that allow us to grip the link itself like so and hold a link straight on like, but since it's holding it technically from the side of the link, we can actually hold lengths of material as well. So we can hold long lengths of material just to do the initial bend and things like that. Uh, this voids you from having to have thick jaws or really heavy tongs for this purpose that have a bar slot cut in the jaws themselves. So that's what that will avoid us having to do. That way we can get it all done with this same type of pair of tongs. Essentially all we're going to be doing is taking our rivet tongs and bending a 90 degree uh, dimension on there. So I'll go ahead and go through the stages of bending that so you can see what that looks like make those nibs out there on the end and then do our offset 
and I'll come back with you after we have it all riveted together and we'll do that final bit. Now that we've got these all put together, the last bit here is just to grip these in the vise, nice and even like if you can. And we're going to give this a bend. Basically you can choose whichever way you want to take and bend them. I'm just going to happen to bend them this way and we're just going to give them a bend just like that together in the vise. We'll also hit these with a rawhide mallet to just drive them a little closer. Again, you can do this however you like. You can try it over the edge of the anvil. It generally goes a lot better if you do it in the vise versus over the anvil. And there you have it. So as you can see, there's a little bit of shifting here. We'll have to adjust those just a bit. We'll just have to adjust this top one here a little bit more. We'll have to take, and take this one here and push it back that way just a bit. But at this stage here, we should be able to grip chain links now from any direction that we so desire. and be able to have the links hang free and clear on the back end, just like so. So now we can have a length of chain. We can grip this anywhere on here to make our weld. And it's gonna be very, very, very handy. See, so you just go like that, bring that chain right around, and now you can get your weld in there. This will also help with reach issues at the anvil to work that around. But that's basically how you do it. Not, a, not nothing to it. Um, like I said, I highly encourage you if this is your first time watching uh, me make any sort of tongs that you go check out the other videos that I have on tongs. I have a video on using these tong links here, using integral tong clips that I've made and be expecting a chain making video uh, shortly after this has been posted here. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, it, uh, I put out new videos every single day. So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And like always, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.